All right, so uh, here's part two, our second round, because I only get 15 minute increments. So we've chained 70 and we've double crocheted in each of those 70. So we are on the third round. So we have chained up four after we slip stitch to join. So as you can see, my, my chain four there. And now we're, which counts as our first double crochet and chain one space. So now we're going to double crochet into this very next space. Chain one. And double crochet into the very next space. And chain one. And double crochet into the very next space. And chain one and double crochet into this very next space. So I'm going to kind of show you how that looks now. See, where we, this is our chain four. So double crochet, chain one space, where we double crochet immediately into this next space. Chain one and double crochet into this very next space. And we're going to continue to do this all the way around. So, let's get going. And I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done. I'm probably going to go a little bit faster with this round, just because my little one's napping, and I'm trying to get this, um, these tutorial parts out before he wakes up. So. Again, um, these tutorials are for people who already know how to crochet. There are lots of other amazing videos here on YouTube that will teach you your basic stitches. But for this particular pattern, again, I'm going to reiterate, you need to know your chain stitch. You need to learn or know your double crochet and your single crochet. That's, that's it. Um, I know I probably hold my work a little bit funny, um, but this is one of those things. Everybody's got their own way that works for them, and this is what works for me. So, um, for another question I got asked about my first poncho that a lot of you saw on the Facebook group page was, how many skeins of yarn did I end up using? I ended up using probably close to five skeins. So, yeah. And I did see a couple other uh, pictures of virus ponchos, and um, they had where they had four corners. We're only going to have a front corner and a back corner. We're not going to have four corners in the way I did mine. So, you can hear the uh, Miser Brothers Christmas in the background. <laughs> My little one fell asleep to it. See how many parts we can get into this video. Ooh, close to being done with this round. Um, this is for a probably I would say a women's small or a child's large. I haven't really played around with um, making any other sizes because that poncho was for me um, and basically all I did was kind of just play around with a blanket pattern and modify it in what I thought would work until and frog and undo and repeat and undo and repeat which is really nice about the super saver uh, yarn is it's really durable for that but I just kept going until I found something that kind of worked for me. And you guys are welcome to modify it to your own liking and um, find what works for you. In fact, I would love to 
see what you guys come up with. That would be pretty awesome. That's the great thing. That's what I love about crocheting is, you know, there are patterns that pe creative people have come up with, and and you can, um, you know, take and modify those into something with your own creativity, and you know, it just it never ends. I love it. So here we are. Now, I'm only going to take you um, as far as you need to know, because once you get um, through these videos, you should pretty much have the pattern down. It, um, you should be good. I'm not going to take you through an entire poncho, but I'm going to get you to where um, you should be able to um, take it and run, so to speak. All right. So here we are coming to the end. Right. So we have what looks like only one more space, and this is kind of important. You're going to double crochet in that last space, chain one, and then slip stitch. So as you can see, my last double crochet is right here. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go right here into um, this space here, and I'm going to pull through and pull through and slip stitch. So this is what our work looks like now. Push this back so you can see. This is what our work looks like now. A nice, so this is the neckline. And I'm going to pull it up so you can see. Light. There we go. That's better. Alright, so as you can see, this is our round of double crochets, and this is our row of our uh, double crochet chain one space and double crochet into the very next space. So, with that being said, from here we're going to start our um, our chain spaces, our chain space pattern. So here, this is going to make our back corner, so we're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five. I've chained up five. You see this space right here? See this space? I'm actually going to skip it and I'm going to single crochet into this space right here. Just like that. So now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And just remember you're working in every other chain one space. So we're going to skip this one and work into the very next one. Single crochet, chain three, skip the next chain space and go into the chain three, skip the immediate chain space, and come over here, and we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skipping this chain, the immediate chain space, and working into the um, one beside it, chaining three, one, two, three, Skipping this one, working into this one, we are going to single crochet, chain three, skipping the immediate one, working into the, uh, again, every other one, so one, two, three. You're going to have three chain three spaces between each chain five space. Um, and for this next round, we're going to have... Um, a total of six chain five spaces and two uh, chain five spaces immediately next to each other. So one, two, three, four, five. Skipping this chain space, working into this one, single crochet. Chain one, two, three. 
one, two, three, skipping, single crochet, one, two, three, skipping and single crochet. So that brings us to our third and final chain five space. One, two, three, four, five, skipping and single crochet, chain one, two, three, skipping and single crochet, chaining one, two, three, skipping and single crochet, chaining three, one, two, three, and skipping and single crochet. So I'm going to end this part two because we're at our front corner and I want to be able to explain that front corner a little more in detail. So uh, meet me in the next video.